Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I want to come on here and once again talk about Teen Moms 2, Janelle Evans. So if you guys don't know, the other day was the Teen Mom 2 reunion, and yes, honey, I was here for it, bitch, because y'all know that's my show. So anyways, during the Teen Mom 2 reunion, um, for y'all who don't know, Nessa, a.k.a. Ness Nitty, she is the girlfriend of Colin Kaepernick, and she goes hard for her man, okay? So this is where the drama happens. The drama happens because Janelle is into with other cast members on the show, and one of those other cast members is kale and kale is the mother of isaac and you know she has two other little boys isaac logan and the little baby lux and so they've been beefing back and forth and saying little things on social media and janelle's mama barbara even said that she wanted to kill kale so it was a bunch of drama mess behind that and then Amber, who's from Teen Mom OG, ended up getting involved. She had a lot of things to say on uh, Kale's podcast about Janelle and David Eason. And so Janelle got upset and she felt like Amber could have made it private. Amber could have hit her up. Y'all go ahead and check out these clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Amber, you didn't, like, message me privately about this? You didn't ask about your concerns? You had to go and just talk shit about my husband? Like, come on. That's some shitty shit. And I mean, we don't talk about how, you know, your husband's the one that's always touching your child, not you in your episodes, but I don't say that shit. And I can say a lot more, but I'm not on here to talk shit. I'm on here to tell you, Amber, to shut the fuck up about my family. Leave them alone. No, he doesn't think he's hard because he has a gun. When you're in North Carolina, if you don't have a concealed permit, you have to show your weapon. You cannot hide it. It has to be on your hip. It has to be shown to the law. And if you don't, you get a felony. So no, he's not, he's not like, look at my gun, I got a gun, I got a gun. That's not it at all. And he did not threaten anyone's life. That shit pisses me off. You have this bitch that hangs a business card out the window, calling herself a realtor, telling my husband to come up to her to get the card. And you know what my husband said? Fuck you, I won't. He left and came back home. That turned into... Oh my God, David was gonna kill me. I can breathe on this one. I gotta breathe on this one. Let us, let's tell the fucking truth here. Let's tell the truth. Who the fuck was the pilot of this fucking show? I was, bitch. Janelle, you say anything about me again, I see your ass, I'll bust your fucking ass. Just like I was gonna do every other motherfucking time, you scared ass fucking cunt. You scared ass bitch. You ever have my motherfucking name in your mouth? I don't give a fuck. You can get your ass beat from what's his face. But I'm not that motherfucker. I'll beat your motherfucking ass. Don't fuck with me. Don't say a fucking word about it. And your bitch ass mom talking about killing Kel. Bitch ass drunk. Drunk ass motherfucking bitch. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck? Bitch, that's why you fucking sat there and blocked me because all that shit that I got in my fucking DMs. You pussy. You're a pussy. You're a fucking pussy. I sat there and protected your fucking bitch ass. I didn't put all that shit out in the fucking public. How much of a fucking pussy you are. Did I? I could have, couldn't I? But I'm a real fucking G. You're shit. You're nothing. How about that? I'm a real fucking bitch. What the fuck are you? You think I want attention, you ugly fucking cunt? Attention? You're on the show, why? Because I was on this motherfucking show. How about that? I was the pilot. The fuck you mean? The fuck you mean, bitch? I didn't, I didn't, there wasn't even a name for this fucking show when I, when I fucking started up. And I was 18, bitch, not 16. And I was 18, but they said, yep, this bitch right here. So what the fuck are you saying? You're gonna fucking come at me? You get money because of me, bitch! And I don't give a fuck if they fire me and they fucking know that shit. Over, over, and over, over, and over again. I don't give a fuck. Real is real. You're a fucking bitch. And you're a fucking man. Don't ever fucking say I need attention from your fucking crackhead ass. With all your fucking pill bottles looking like a stupid fucking cunt. Take care of your fucking kids. People want to say, I'm a bad fucking mom because I really went through some shit. Because I did go to prison, you fucking pussy. And I put myself in prison, you fucking pussy. For my fucking kid. For my fucking kid. I still got a fucking attitude and I always fucking will. I don't give a fuck. You're a bitch, you're a pussy, and you would never say that shit to my fucking face. Ever. And you fucking know.
know it. So you delete whatever you need to fucking delete so I don't blast your fucking pussy ass. I never said shit. I never said shit about how I called your ass out. I never said shit about what the fuck I said to you. But I am now. What the fuck do you have to say about it? You can say it to my fucking face. How about that? Say it to my fucking face. Like you tried to and you didn't say before. Bitch, shut up. Are you fuck? Is this a joke? Are you fucking stupid? You're a fucking dumbass bitch too. You fucking dumb bitch. Team Mama OG. Who the fuck is the OG? Let's figure this one out. Who was the OG? Let's figure that one out. Because I remember being 18. Shut the fuck up. You get paid because I got fucking paid. How about that? You got paid because I was crazy enough for them to start a fucking show with Macy, Caitlyn, and everybody else associated with it. Not you, cunt. Not you. And if you ever say anything, you fucking dumbass mom talking about fucking Kel killing people and shit. Fuck you, bitch. What the fuck? Give a fuck how drunk somebody is? I Back in the day, I get drunk as fuck and I still want to be talking about, I'm going to kill you. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Say something back to me if you ever see me out busting your fucking ass. Last time I did it and I told you. I fucking told you last time I did it. Last time I didn't bust your ass. We fucking, we didn't have any beef because of on that stage. But when we got off that stage, what did I do? I grabbed your fucking ass and gave you a hug. No. You try to walk by me like you didn't fucking see me like a scared little pussy. That's what the fuck you did. Don't fucking try to talk to real motherfuckers. You don't, you don't know how I grew up. You don't know anything about me. Don't ever try to fucking talk to me. Don't ever try to fucking talk to me. Ever. Yeah, you block that shit because you don't want that spread around, you fucking pussy ass bitch. Yeah, that's you. This is me. It's called real. Real. Something you can never fucking be. I'm chilling. I'm chilling today with my man. I'm having a day with my fucking man. I don't need fucking attention. Attention? Why don't you ask MTV and the producers how much fucking attention? You read the article, bitch? Who who did what last? Huh? I fucking signed on last. I ain't even signed on. So what the fuck do you mean? What fucking attention? Shit, I'm looking crazy as fucking. I don't even give a shit. And what? And what? I look like a fucking mom. That's what I look like. A real one. You fucking clown. You ain't shit. You know you're not fucking shit. Keep popping those fucking pills. You're a fucking bitch. You ain't shit to me. You're not gonna do fucking shit to me. You took all the fucking hood out of me. So here you fucking go. Old Amber, but to the fucking max. Honestly, don't ever fucking see me again in your fucking life. I'm gonna bust your ass so hard. This time I'm not stepping the fuck back. This time I don't give a fuck what you say to me. I don't give a fuck. It's done. I don't give a fuck. You need to have security anybody around you better have security i'm telling you that honey y'all see amber portwood honey she done turned trailer trash hood on that ass okay she was not here for janelle's fuck shit she straight up snatched janelle's edges off i don't think janelle was ready for that damn heat that amber portwood was bringing okay i think amber portwood was having a damn flashback to when she was in damn prison I'm like, girl, calm down. This ain't orange is a new damn black. This is Teen Mom 2 and Teen Mom OG. Y'all bitches are doing too damn much on the internet, okay? <laughs> I live for all this white on white crime. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let's get back to what happened at the damn reunion. Then fast forward to the reunion. Janelle's on the stage and Ness Nitty brings this up. And so... Ness Nitty basically calls out Janelle on her hypocrisy and she says, well, I find it very funny that you're mad about Amber not reaching out to you and taking stuff publicly to social media when you yourself have done the same thing to me. So, of course, Janelle tries to play crazy. She's like, what are you talking about? She said you were basically disrespecting my man and my family, you know, Colin Kaepernick because you were saying a lot of just really defamatory lies on social media about Colin Kaepernick. And so uh, Ness Nitty's like, we can bring out the receipts. So once the receipts are brought out, here comes girl tears. This entire situation's a hot damn mess. I'll go ahead and try out this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Janelle, this is an open, healthy conversation that I would like to have with you. Mm -hmm. 
Please understand something. My man used his platform to peacefully protest systemic oppression in this country, specifically okay. police brutality against black people. Okay. Men, women, and children are dying, wrongfully dying, and people who are doing this are not being held accountable. Okay. That is the issue. It has nothing to do with military men, military women, okay? Because they fought for our Constitution to peacefully protest, all of us. I would have appreciated if you had contacted me, I would have been more than happy, Janelle, to, I, to have a healthy conversation. I, know. I, would, I, don't, know, I right? don't know anything about your husband. I swear to God. So wait, no, Janelle. I'm done with, I'm done with this bull****. This is exactly why I didn't come here. Janelle, why, this can't, is why, why like, can't you have an open this conversation? Is about, no, this is about our, this is about my storyline. I wanted to tell you. And you, you want to bring up your issues. No, you want to bring you, up teen mom to bring all right, so you guys just saw that clip, and I love how automatically she goes into victim mode. First, she claimed that she didn't know who Colin Kaepernick was. She had no idea. And then when, you know, Nesnitty's like, hold up, he's been on set. You've met with him. We've had dinner together. So how dare you try and talk about my man in this manner? Then here come the tears. Here comes the victim mode. I mean, the way she flipped up from not knowing anything to being a straight victim was straight up bullshit. First and foremost, I don't feel bad for Janelle, and I'm glad. You know, kudos to you, Ness Nitty, for breaking character, because she gets on my nerves sometimes on the show, because I think she's too damn nice, and she doesn't hold these girls to task. So kudos to you for breaking character and keeping it all the way 100 with Janelle, okay? Kudos to you, bitch. I don't think Nessa did anything wrong. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? First of all, Janelle needs to worry about her lack of parenting skills and the type of woman and mother that she is to her children. What she, what type of, you know, image she's putting out to her children. You're the same who allowed your husband to kill the family dog. And guess what? You're still with him. Your kids are literally out of the home. But as long as you're standing by your man, that's all you care about. For her to sit there and play victim after her and her husband, David Eason, drug Colin Kaepernick, you know what I'm saying, to me is bullshit at the end of the day Nessa was not attacking Janelle okay she was basically holding Janelle to task and saying look you know you're being a hypocrite because you're mad at Amber basically taking things publicly to social media when it comes to you and David Easton but you had no problem basically blasting my man publicly when you've met him you know me you know my number you know how to reach out to me so why disrespect me and my man especially being that you're a part of this cast so you know she's trying to point that out to her but of course Janelle always wants to be a victim, okay? In every situation, she's a victim. She starts fights, then she's a victim. She picks on people, then she's a victim. You know, so this whole situation was insane. I don't feel bad for Janelle one bit. She can cry till she's blue in the face. She can threaten to, you know, quit and do all that other bullshit. I'm glad they finally just gotten rid of her altogether. She's one person who does not need to be on reality television all it's done is just put a microscope on her life, on the toxicity in her life, and she has not changed. She's been the same way since she was 16. It's everyone else's fault that she's going through what she's going through in life, and this time she met her match because unlike her mother, unlike Dr. Drew, unlike the staff at MTV who have coddled Janelle, who have made excuses for Janelle since she was 16 years old, Nessa wasn't having that shit. And as soon as somebody stepped to her toe-to-toe -to -toe with facts and receipts, all of a sudden, she went right back into playing victim mode. So I'm glad Nessa held her damn feet to the fire. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nessa basically confronting Janelle for disrespecting Colin Kaepernick. And Janelle, like clockwork, you know what I'm saying, letting the tears come out, going straight into victim mode. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do you guys feel about this? Are you team Nessa on this one? Are you team Janelle? Do you feel like Nessa was too harsh on her? That wasn't right. Or do you feel like Janelle is just full of shit and you're glad that Nessa basically confronted her when she got her opportunity? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right.